He is fully aware what his duty as a member of the board will be. Now, some other critics seem to object to Mr. Becker simply because he was a union lawyer, a union lawyer. And I might add, a pretty darn good one. But this is hardly cause for concern for a board member. Most labor lawyers devote their careers either to representing unions and workers or to representing management. The LRB oversees a delicate balance of current law and, organi and on organizing uh, provides advantages and restrictions for both sides. Mr. Becker, as mentioned by the chairman, is currently associate general counsel to both the AFL-CIO and the Service Employees International Union. So it is appropriate to be sure that answer the question of the willingness to maintain a balance when casting the deciding vote. Just yesterday, the committee received two letters in opposition to Mr. Becker's nomination. One from 23 major trade associations representing millions of American employers. Another from 600 manufacturers nationwide. All the members of this committee are aware Congress is currently considering legislation known as the Employee Free Choice Act, which would essentially end the practice of secret ballot process in union elections. Some have expressed concerns that Mr. Becker's past writings have indicated a belief that the NLRB has the authority to make some of the damage, uh, some of the dramatic changes included in the card check bill without congressional action. Mr. Becker, um, do you perform work for and provide advice to ACORN or ACORN affiliated groups while employed by your current employers or on a volunteer basis? Uh, Senator McCain, I have never done so. Never done that. Um, have you discussed labor law or SEIU efforts to organize or obtain collective bargaining rights for 37,000 home health care workers with former Governor Blagojevich or any members of his staff? I have, I, I, while I was in practice uh, in Illinois, I represented uh, and provided counsel to the SEIU, one of the SEIU locals, excuse me, in Illinois, uh, which for a long period of time, uh, long preceding the Bogoyevich administration, had been working to organize home care workers. Uh, when the governor was elected, I did have discussions with members of his staff, and on one occasion I did have a discussion in which the governor was involved. Uh, if any other matter arises uh, in which any questions can be uh, raised or might be raised about my impartiality, uh, I will take that very seriously. I will consult with the agency's ethics officials. I will look at previous adjudication by other board members that have considered similar questions, and I will recuse myself if necessary. Well, I don't think it's that complicated, Mr. Becker. The quote from the pledge is, I will not for a period of two years from the date of my appointment participate in any particular matter involving specific parties as directly and substantially related to my former employee or former clients, including regulations and contracts. It seems to me, since your former employer has been involved with a number of issues before the NLRB, you would have to recuse yourself from them. Since it's your former employer. I, I, I agree that that pledge uh, is clear and I will abide by that pledge. Meaning that you will recuse yourself from any issues that come before the board that have involvement with SEIU? I, I will comply, Senator McCain, with the terms of that pledge scrupulously. Uh, and as I indicated, if any other matters come up outside the scope of that pledge, in which any party might think that I could, uh, might not be impartial, I will fully consider the matter in consultation with the agency's ethics official and uh, other applicable law and prior, prior consideration of board members of similar circumstances, and if necessary, recuse myself uh, from those uh, cases as well. Well, I see my time uh, has expired. That's not good enough. That's not good enough. If your, your former employer is involved in issues before the NLRB, you should excuse, recuse yourself from them.